So today we're out here at French Meadows. It's an area of the Tahoe National Forest on the American River Ranger District. We're looking at a collaborative project that is a landscape scale project with many partners involved. The French Meadows project really came about because we had an experience in 2014 with the King Fire. The King Fire burned almost 100,000 acres in the Rubicon River watershed, which is sort of the other half of the people of Placer County's water supply. And because of that, it, it was really a wake-up call. The French Meadows Project is really an innovative partnership. And the innovation comes from not only the multiple funding sources, but the multiple expertise that those partners bring. The 35,000 acres behind me is really the watershed for this reservoir. And it's a combined about 25,000 acres of federal land and about eight to 10,000 acres of private land. The private land has already started the thinning and mastication process. They started a couple years ahead of us. And then we're about to begin the federal lands portion. Another thing that we have brought to the collaborative table is the ability to understand the effects of the thinning and burning treatments that we were proposing on fire behavior. So we've done what's called fire modeling. We've inventoried the fuels on the ground. We've modeled the potential behavior under given weather conditions and on this terrain in this watershed so that we know the effectiveness of treatment in reducing fire danger. Fire is a natural part of the system. We want to prepare this landscape for the safe and effective reintroduction of fire. Bringing back more of a historic fire regime to this landscape is going to benefit our watersheds, our wildlife. Uh, that's really how this landscape evolved and with the, the change that we've had over the years of suppressing all our wildfires, it's gotten a little out of whack. In our tree marking out here, we're trying to uh, thin out the stands to bring them closer to the uh, historic density level. In doing that, we tend to target the smaller trees first, the ones that are in the understory of taller, uh, more dominant trees. And then we also thin some of the intermediate sized trees or medium sized trees. And the idea with that is to create gaps in the canopy, which then will break the spread of a fire up and then also create a more diverse uh, understory habitat. Another scientific aspect of the project is assessing the effect of forest management on water resources. Some of the watersheds in this area will be treated and some will remain as controls. Our team at the Sierra Nevada Research Institute is using ground measurements and also satellite data to assess the changes in vegetation and changes in the water balance over several years. Through this assessment, we're not only verifying the benefits of the French Meadows project, but also learning lessons that will help us extend this much needed integration of water and forest management to other watersheds in the Sierra Nevada. Our primary interest in completing this restoration project is to enhance water quality and maintain water quality, to um, enhance the water quantity that these reservoirs store, and finally, to protect our investment in the watershed, our infrastructure investments, as well as our recreational investments. We want these facilities, these dams, these reservoirs, these campgrounds, to be here for the next generation of Plaster County residents. The work that we're doing here at the French Meadows Project could easily be translated to much larger landscapes throughout California and other states throughout the West. We're bringing together the best of our private and public entities and uh, the abilities of those entities to influence land management. And so this is a great model for expanding the effectiveness of forest management throughout the West.